Okay, this is the very first run of uh, emulation or replication of lead motors latest video where it uses the circuit that Dad have put a lot of work into um, to spin a rotor, a pulse motor, at about 150 microamps. I thought to myself, if I increase that base resistance to the, uh, well he's used a 3906, maybe it'll still run and perhaps down using solar, uh, ambient solar from the desk. And that appears to be what's going on here. I've used a 3906, but I've used an MPSA18 as the NPN uh, transistor. I've got a 1500 ohm coil, but it's what it is, is it's three coils from these dancing flower things from Dollar Tree, and uh, I just put them all in series. But the, uh, I'll show the rotor and that in a minute, but I'm going to do some more tests on it as well. Um, the solar panel is just sat there underneath this lamp, uh, which is an 18 watt CFL, and the panel itself is actually from the Solkov. It's uh, 6 volts at 22 milliamps, but no way is it producing the milliamps while well, just sat on here, and it's actually an old development one. You can see it's a bit battered up, but it's doing the job enough, and you can see from my rambling zone that it wasn't just a case of me spinning up that rotor to get it started. Um, so what I've got here, of course, is a semi-levitated kind of a rotor. Um, if I stop it now and show you, what I've got is a little piece there that normally comes from a motor, a little uh, say 3 volt DC motor and you find those little rings and then I put the end of the pin into that and then the whole thing is kept aloft with, uh, well, kept vertical by these couple of magnets at the top. Um, I've got the four around the outside and this one actually has a bit of a, a ring of steel there, a, a washer, um, to keep some momentum going around. and. It seems to do all right. If I spin this thing up fast, I'll get light from the LED, and that's something else the motor showed. So, if I uh... ah, well, it did before. I gave it a spin before, and the LED. There we go. There's a bit from the LED, not a great deal. If I spin it really fast, I suppose it would, or it fly off somewhere. There we go. So there is that effect when it's spinning around. I do get some light. I'll put this back on here properly now. But uh, yeah, I want to do some current measurements next and, um, and see what it gives. But I'm very impressed so far. It's a circuit I've not tried before and uh, I've got a 100 UF capacitor on the front. But uh, it runs fine and it seems to, seems to run best if you just give it a little spin like that and then off it goes. So I'll uh, measure the current next. Okay, this isn't the best way of doing things, but I don't seem to be able to find my analog needle meter at the moment. And this one is the only one that's, uh, <laughs> that its microamp scale actually works, but it seems to be about 14 microamps that it's using. And at this level, there's nothing coming out of the LED, although, as you've seen, if I spin the rotor up by hand, it does work. Um, anyway, if that can be trusted, that's apparently what it's using is, is 14 microamps. Uh, it is a great circuit, though. It's well worth pursuing even further. And thanks for that lead motor, definitely. Alright, thanks for watching.